The following case is somewhat strange, one might say even disturbing. The owners of this doll claim to have seen it move out of nowhere at certain times of the day. On one occasion, a friend of theirs was over, and they told him all about the strange movements of the doll. To nobody's surprise, this event was about to be captured on camera this day. However, apparently, they even noticed a shift in color in the doll's eyes. Just look. Mm -hmm. That fan is still blowing and she's stopping. See? Mm. See? Yeah. That is so creepy. Yeah, it is. It's also like creepy she won't stand anywhere else on the table. No, I've tried it in three or four places up here and she won't do it. <laughs> Let's see something. Oh, I, I didn't like know <laughs> did not do that. The doll turns all of a sudden in a pretty disturbing way, right after the owner had touched it. And based on him, the doll does not like to be touched. At least that's his suspicion. They even noticed a shift in color in the doll's eyes. The doll's eyes were originally blue, until they became completely dark in a matter of seconds. Unfortunately, we do not have more information about the case. However, many believers say that dolls can act as a vessel for ghostly entities, which includes the positive ones as well as malevolent beings. So, one must be really careful when noticing such strange activity. The following video stems from a group of friends who set off in the middle of the night to a supposedly haunted place in the middle of the mountains. When they get there, they look at the area, and after a while, they come up with a really disturbing capture. Let's see what happened. They seem to have captured a sinister figure with horns. Could this be an unidentified creature? Or are we talking about something devilish even? If it wasn't a prank, of course, who can say what was captured here exactly? Magical Poltergeist is a young man that is dealing with a pretty malevolent haunting in his very own home, which is why he had recently decided to start documenting all these pretty eerie happenings. Therefore, he has installed several security cameras around the home, and these are some of the latest recordings.
it is uncertain what exactly is going on in his home, and apparently he's still documenting the current case. Let's see if there's going to be an update about it very soon. Now a creepy recording from user Luke QMN, who states that ever since growing up, he felt that something scary was going on at night at the house of his aunt. He had to spend some weekends there ever so often, and to this day, he remembers weird noises and creepy things that he had seen there as a kid. Apparently, his aunt is used to all of this activity at this point, and after 10 years, he was invited back to spend another night there. And once again, he was woken up to some really eerie activity. I'm still hearing voices. Jesus Christ! I hear knocking again. And this is where the recording ended. Many people are certain that we can hear the voice of a little child here. Is that possible? <laughs> what exactly could have caused all of this? Is something bound to this old house? Who can say? The next case was featured by Amy and Luna94, the channel of a young mother who is mostly sharing videos about her kids and her dog Luna. However, this got a bit weird when the woman shared a pretty unique encounter they had in the woods together, and she doesn't believe this to be anything normal, as she puts it. Let's take a look. What's the matter? exactly what was going on in front of them, and what it was. Is this something otherworldly, or was it simply an animal? Hard to say. But they came back another day, and yet again saw something really interesting in the distance. The woman believes this to be the exact same thing that she captured earlier. Could this be? Perhaps it was just an animal, but it made her pretty unsettling. What do you believe? This is an eerie investigation video, which was forwarded to me by Zodiac. The story goes that two friends were exploring a supposedly haunted building one day, which was visited by the ghost of a lady once in a while. Why, however, is not exactly known. Well, as they are walking through the ruins of this former place, the cameraman captures something on his device that shouldn't have been there, and he didn't realize it at first.
Was it perhaps the spirit of the lady that was lingering and waiting for the two? Or is this just a spooky hoax? The next clip was recorded by user Mason Divas 3 and he was quite startled when he realized that something terrifying was unfolding just outside of his window. As he was close to the end of his night shift, there appeared what looked like to be a tall man standing and walking around outside. There was no apparent reason for that, and no, it had never happened before. Let's check that out. Misty as and what the f It's five in the morning, bro. Like, five in the morning, been moving back and forth, just looking at me. Some viewers suspected that it could be a farmer who was simply looking out after his crops. But Mason denied that, saying that nobody ever is out that early on the fields and that it appeared to be looking straight at him. And that was that. A really scary encounter if you ask me. Is it paranormal related? We don't know. Even if not, what would a person do out there just staring at a window? Uncanny. looking at me. The following is a pretty unsettling recording, which has been shared by Carrie E. She has uploaded this video to Reddit in hopes for somebody to help her. She states, This video is from a camera setup in my ex's bedroom. It's set so that it only records if motion is detected. We detected motion on the TV and recorded this. My daughter, her stepmom and my daughter's boyfriend have all felt strange since living there. They've all had issues with lights turning on by themselves or turning on and not being able to turn them off. They've heard voices coming from my daughter's room when my daughter isn't there. Also, my daughter said that when she's in the shower, the rest of the house sounds noisy. Kind of like if there was somebody in the house making a bunch of noise, banging stuff around and then when she gets out of the shower, all the noise stops. The house has already been saged. Should they sage it again? Move perhaps? We see a strange shadow person at the right side of the screen. Apparently, nobody was standing there in the room. And then it just starts to the left and is just gone. Nothing is known about where the shadow originated from. But this doesn't look natural to me. What an eerie encounter. The next clip comes to us from Japan and was uploaded by user Fourth Wall. According to them, the cameraman was walking home from work late one night when he suddenly felt a strange energy around him. You know that feeling when you just know someone is watching you? The man decided to start filming his walk home and ended up capturing some really interesting paranormal evidence. Let's see. The man is filming down a hallway when a white transparent mist can be seen moving around close to the building.
It is hard to identify the shape until the spirit seemingly stands up and suddenly takes on a very human-like form. This sighting is understandably terrifying for the cameraman who suddenly stops recording. It's hard to say what could have possibly caused this phenomenon. It really doesn't look like normal fog or smoke to me. Is this a true paranormal capture though? I let you be the judge. The following was uploaded by Equilibrium Collective, who shared this clip of a viewer that maybe has captured a paranormal encounter taking place in his apartment. They state, One of our viewers sent in this fantastic clip. There have been no paranormal complaints until home footage caught this abnormally. This is raw footage sent in to ask us about our opinion. Was it an apparition that was captured here perhaps? It really looks like a semi-transparent figure that is walking through the room here, doesn't it? Really curious. We also can see a lady in a therapeutic bed of some sorts in the background, and it is not further known if she was battling any kind of serious disease or illness. Could it be that somebody from the afterlife was watching over her that night? The next video was sent by Peptero. The user tells me that we are looking at a CCTV recording, which was recorded one night after closing hours in a local pub. The place is located in a hundreds of years old building and many customer reports have spoken of glasses being flicked off the table, sudden bursts of wind and other strange occurrences that take place in there on a regular basis. So ghost stories are certainly nothing new. This night though, the security guard noticed that there seemed to be a bit more going on than just poltergeist activity. A dark shadow entity seems to be hovering behind the counter, possibly working the beer dispenser and giving out glasses in the afterlife. The owner suspects that it could be a former employee. Some people say that it might just be a bug or something. But this seems unlikely, the owner states. Who can say? This video was sent by Tobias. He tells me that a friend of his found it in another compilation video. The story goes that a man was on his way home one evening. He was driving through a stretch of field, which apparently was supposed to be a shortcut for him. After a few minutes, his car seemed to malfunction. The reason was unknown. His dashcam then captures something really odd right in front of his car. The man was sure to have captured a ghost here. Maybe it drained the car battery and maybe it caused the car to halt. Could this be the case? The man is certain that this is exactly what happened. How strange.
now we want to check out the recordings of Tony Fraser. And the story goes that Tony has been documenting the strange events in his home for a few months now. Guys, here's the July 30th activity part three I was promising. Um, you can see nothing's changed since the plate moved. Um, the cabinet's opened. There we go. Something opened the cabin. Looking for something. I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe for some plates. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. You know, I used to be a huge skeptic, and if you're like me, you know, these videos are entertaining, but I always thought they were fake. And until it happens to you, you know, this this has never happened to me in my life and so I never believed and now this is happening to me and I'm, I'm getting nervous now. I'm starting to believe that this is probably Miss Potter because you'll see how short the mist is and then it moves into the hallway. See? And then it oh, moves wow. back into the hallway and sweeps around the corner. And that reminded me of the video I posted the hall video that caught the have my friend come sage next week guys because I got this ring notification tonight it's been quiet in the house but apparently I had a visitor and it says come outside Wow, there's another traffic. Oh, look. I'll backfire and then listen close. Oh, man. Did you hear anything? It walks off the porch and she can see light go back behind it and in through it as it goes across the what do you to do guys stick the following clip was shared by the profile of the unanswered universe it is said in the description that the following event unfolded as part of a creepy video diary and the story goes that the man filming that night might have captured a terrifying shadow being manifesting right in front of him shortly after moving in the man started to have really unsettling nightmares and his partner told him that he had even started sleepwalking how eerie it didn't take long until the activity got even stronger and more spooky. Shadows started to show themselves ever so often in the man's home. And even poltergeist activity was witnessed every other evening. The uploader even claims that the man recording started to hear voices when nobody else was home. Then, one night, he could capture the following right in front of his home. would appear that this shadow thing is manifesting out of thin air. It then twists and moves in a really awkward fashion. That's why many believe this thing to not be human. Maybe not even a ghost. Might the man have been contacted by demonic entities? Pretty nightmarish to think about that, isn't it? I guess we will never know for sure.
the following clip was linked by one of my viewers and uploaded by Relationship Humor on Instagram. The young girl was preparing a short video that afternoon and states that nobody else was supposed to be around. However, something seemed to be standing right behind her that day. Another dark shadow that seemed to have made it onto a recording by accident. If this wasn't a family member of hers, what else was it? Unfortunately, it is unclear if the young girl has experienced any paranormal events before, but it's extremely unsettling to picture something behind you. When the house is empty, was it maybe an intruder? Who can say for sure? The next video was uploaded by Paranormal Investigation Team Gang Gua Pi, located in Thailand. The group has been ghost hunting for around a year and often visits abandoned homes, lakes, forests and even caves. In this particular investigation, the group is visiting an abandoned house in a rural area. The reason for the house? The reason the house was left deserted was reportedly because of a tragedy that had taken place in the house. Understandably, nobody wanted to live in the home after that. The group begins their investigation by going through the rooms in the house and it barely takes any time at all before something terrifying happens. Let's take a look. exploring one of the bedrooms in the back of the house when they are startled by what they believe to be a shadow figure. Take a look at the shadow they capture. This certainly appears to be some sort of shadow creature. The glowing eyes and completely black figure are certainly creepy. What do you believe they may have captured? Is this a real spirit sighting or just a hoax? Some people believe that houses inherit the spirits of past events. This includes tragedies as well as horrific moments that might have transpired at some point in time. TikTok user The Myth Rider comes across one of these old abandoned houses and notices something in the window. This is the Martin House. Haunted. Panama City, Florida, my first book. And I'm just driving by randomly. Look in the window. Please, somebody tell me you see what I'm seeing. A child. He Supposedly, maybe, we're not sure. Stories have changed over the years man went crazy and killed his entire family after finding out his wife was cheating with the servant. Hung the servant on a tree that used to be in the front yard that the hurricane took out. But the stories are that the children can be seen. I see a kid. We all see it. The question is, can we absolutely be sure that no other family is inheriting the house at this point? And maybe it's just a doll of some sorts. It's all just theories, but there might be a slight chance that we are looking at a paranormal event here. We just don't know. The following video was posted by a young man who states that in this recording he came across something really unsettling. Apparently he had heard strange noises lately that for whatever reason seemed to occur after dark. He was just about to call his night when he felt that something wasn't right. He states, going upstairs to bed and felt scared all of a sudden. This really freaked me out. He 
wasn't sure what he saw that night. But if we take a better look, one could think that a creepy face is lurking out from the left lower corner in the other room. He was alone that night, so whatever this thing is, wasn't supposed to be there. Are we looking at a ghost here? Or do you have a better explanation? This man just recently moved into his new home. When strange noises started to occur, he decided to document the happenings. What kind of creature could the man capture here? Look at these big eyes. Creepy. The following video was sent by Annette and she just found it on the paranormal section of Reddit. It is said that it was captured by the security system of user Londo Lens that kept his recording private for over a year before now deciding to share it and get critics' opinions of what we could be looking at here. He simply stated, This was captured off of security camera outside my house. Something is trying to get in. Recorded between 2 and 4 am. Thoughts? Well, let's take a look. There undoubtedly is something entering through the glass sliding door. And the comment section is baffled, since nobody really had a good idea of what is going on here. Do you? Could it have been something on the lens perhaps? Very unlikely, according to most comments, since the shadow just vanishes. If anything, it's creepy for sure. The following video was recorded by a paranormal enthusiast from Mexico and shared on his very own channel, Car Smith. He was out exploring a cemetery all by himself that night, and the video in question was recorded shortly before dawn. The man was initially a bit disappointed since he didn't really come across anything noteworthy that night, but after getting home and reviewing all of his footage, he realized that something was perhaps standing just meters away from him. No sé, estoy solo, totalmente solo, y me vale madre, <ríe> me vale madre lo que piensa la gente, pero sí, aquí estamos. A dark shadow entity seems to be standing right in front of him by a grave. Carr swore that nobody else was there, at least as far as he could tell. And why would that person stand in pitch darkness anyway? So, did he capture a spirit here? A ghostly visitor? Or how else do we explain this black silhouette? Very unsettling. This next clip was uploaded by the user Juan Carlos Quizpad87. This clip is filmed from inside a moving car as the driver is going down a dark and empty road in the mountains when he comes across something extremely creepy.
It appears that some form of creature is seen running impossibly fast on the road. The creature does look similar to a human, but its arms are long and lanky. It appears to be at least 7 or 8 feet tall. And the way it is running does not look human to me. As you can hear from the man's reaction, some of the commentators say that the creature appears to be headless and others say it looks like a horse with only two legs. What do you think? Just a trick of the eye or has Juan really captured something inhuman on film? My best guess is that indeed it was just a person on a horse at night. Do you agree? This video was forwarded by Sunbro and he found it on a channel called Neon V White. It features a young man who was recording a video featuring his newly developed piano skills. However, the really interesting part is unfolding in the background. The young man had never uploaded anything creepy, so his viewers were a little bit intrigued. I got bored over the quarantine and I'm trying to learn the piano. So yeah. What's up guys? Uh, Dan here. I got bored over the quarantine and I'm trying to learn the piano. All of a sudden the door opens behind him and he seems quite a bit surprised. Of course he leaves the room to check. Can't find anything though. When he then reconstructs these events and pans the camera towards the room, he can see a dark shadow standing in front of his closet. Neon later states that he didn't see anything weird at the time, so we can only suspect that maybe only the camera could pick this apparition up, right? If it wasn't just a skit, of course. The first series of videos were recorded by a user called Frolylicious Music. He has shared the following clip, which was recorded by his son. Apparently the young man woke up to one of his electronics, which turned on all by itself. It was hard to see, but there appeared to be something really creepy on it. Does this appear like a face to you? Some say this is the case. But other stuff kept happening in their house. Around 3 am, Frolylicious woke up to some really inexplicable noises from the bathroom. He recorded the incident, and this is what he saw. We can see that a cloaked figure is walking by, very fast in the bathroom. Unfortunately, he did not go in and turn the light on to figure out what was going on. But what do you think happened here? Is this house haunted or is this just a prank? Next video was found by Brian and forwarded to me. It's not of best of quality, but what is transpiring on this video is quite interesting. It was captured by two friends who were just on their way home. The story goes that when the two heard some unusual weeping noises from the streets, they started recording and then came across this.
that looks like a figure in a white dress that seemingly vanishes for a brief moment after appearing out of thin air again. Some believe this to be the ghost of a lady that is walking the streets at night here. Could this be so? Is it maybe something more explainable? A light reflection of some sorts? Or what do you think? The next video was posted by Zealous Ideal. It was captured by a baby camera, and the family believes that something really strange is going on in their house. The user states, Raise the volume up, you will hear something saying, Help me. I would totally believe this was just somebody hacking my RLO, but the other events that have happened in my mom's house with my daughter and myself are just too unexplainable. We've had another incident with her nanny cam and seeing a black shadow near her, an orb, and her suddenly waking up and screaming. I've had issues in my own room with the feeling of somebody watching me, breathing on my neck, severe night terrors, and missing items that suddenly return. This has been recurring since I was pregnant with my little one. I hope moving to another home will help. So, what do you think happened here? A recording of a spirit? Or did somebody else get access to their Arlo security system? clip was posted by user Wisepaint. His dad is working as a caretaker and handyman in a local hotel and has many strange stories to tell about this place. Today he was tasked with fixing an air conditioning unit in one of the many rooms in this hotel. As per usual, he was recording this for hotel management and to document his thoughts and notes about this piece of machinery. After a little while, it would appear that the man didn't seem to be alone anymore. Wise Paint stated, My dad recorded this. At some point, he recorded a woman's voice. At least that's what we think. And then the phone seems to get touched. It would appear that there is indeed a voice coming through. A faint whisper, but what was it saying? And is it English? Then the phone seems to get tipped over and falls to the ground. A strange encounter to say the least. Do you think this was just a noise created by the drill? Or maybe the AC itself? Let me hear your thoughts about this. The next clip was found on Reddit and sent to me by Paul. He stumbled over it while browsing the paranormal section and following video caught his interest. User I will stay Anon, thanks, has shared this footage a few days ago after capturing something unusual in an old church. Apparently the user was very interested in urban exploring. 
and the night in question, his destination of choice was the following 125 year old abandoned church and apparently is still in incredible shape with its intact glass windows and the red velvet church pews. However, urban decay is slowly taking over this wonderful place. And it is said that, for whatever reason, the creepy basement, which is dark as night, is apparently haunted. Our explorer basically just was out to hunt for some exciting shots that night, and of course was hoping for some thrills. In the end, he might have gotten more than he was hoping for though. In his own words, he tells us, I don't know what I have captured that night. It was all normal at first, while I was exploring the empty rooms. Until a point when the following happened. The door is opening by itself, very scary indeed. However, there also seemed to be a crouched object that can be seen through the glass, possibly the reason for the door opening. But what was it? If we believe our explorer, the place was empty and he made sure that nobody else was there at the time. Of course, you never have proof for that. Was it maybe a homeless person that is living in there? Or was this a paranormal encounter? Okay. Say the least. YouTuber Write Me 5 is a channel which features adventures and trips that the channel owner undertakes on a motorbike. His viewers mostly tune in to enjoy the entertaining rides and to explore areas together with the uploader. The following video was captured on one of the man's trips to Africa. He was out with another colleague and they were driving through a field area in the middle of nowhere. It was pretty late already and they were on the way to his colleague's hut to take a rest for the day. Correcto. ¿Me quiere para dormir? Ah, sí, para poner la tienda de campaña. Para dormir, ¿eh? Sí. Eh, mi llegar. Okay. Muy obrigado, amigo. Noticed anything? Let's look at that again. would appear like a person that is standing there in pitch darkness. Nobody, his colleague of the day included, could identify it. And it's not common for people to just stay in pitch darkness, the truly odd capture, which made everybody included really uneasy. What could this have been? A spirit perhaps? Or was it somebody that was not accounted for after all? Following was an interesting recording posted by user Fluffy Furry Buddy. He states, "Just witnessed this on my baby monitor. What am I looking at?" Um. <laughs> was it a guardian angel? Maybe the kid astral projecting, or just a bug? The following video was an investigation conducted by Museo del Horror. Tonight they traveled to an abandoned hospital, which based on several reports is supposedly haunted. They were streaming their adventure live on YouTube 
and swear that nobody besides the team should have had access to this place that night. After starting their nightly session, the night starts off with some interesting noises from the distance. Era de, para gente de mucho dinero. Era para... Uy. ¿Quién es? ¿Es en serio? ¿Puedes hablar? Fue un lamento. Alguien se quejó. María Ramírez, muchas gracias. They can hear the moaning of a woman. Can you too? Creepy. These weird noises could be heard in different hallways. And it turns out that there were actually several more unexplained noises. Some believe that these voices were trying to lure our investigators in a specific direction. The reason, however, is unknown. As they make it deeper into the building, their camera captures something really strange on the left. It appears as if a piece of cloth is pulling towards the left side. Some say it certainly was an apparition which was stuck in this hospital. Could this be? If not, what other explanation could there be? Just a regular piece of cloth that might have been jammed there and released by a wind breeze or something. They came across many more strange sightings and occurrences that night. And I definitely think it's worth checking out the whole investigation yourself. This was posted by Asosa94. The man states that he is a security guard at a car auction. The old building is known for its many ghost stories. This evening, he was the only person remaining in this building, and as he was about to use the washroom, he was hearing some creepy noises stemming out of there, and he was terrified. Could the voice say, help me perhaps? What do you hear exactly? The following video was forwarded by Entian and initially published by Pasillo. It was recorded in an old house by a young man who states that paranormal activity has become an almost daily occurrence. He moved in recently and didn't really think anything of the activity for the first couple of weeks. Loud noises and things falling down, in most cases, can have a rational explanation, right? But when he started to see the shadow of a little kid once in a while, he realized that something else was going on. The man has no pets, so whatever he recorded in this video lacks any kind of explanation, at least for him. The 
A strange moaning can be heard, which freaks our cameraman out quite a bit. But due to the fan and the car noises outside, it's not really possible to pinpoint exactly where it might have originated from. This would appear like a pair of eyes, which, based on him having no animals, is quite the unusual sighting, if we believe him, of course. There's also something else, hiding behind the sofa chair, but what exactly is it? Almost impossible to say, in my opinion. Could it be a real haunting here? This video was found in the paranormal section of Reddit. Two young men were supposedly discovering the tunnels of an old mine. They were going on trips together quite frequently and found some really strange stuff in some of these tunnels to say the least. But this video was a bit different than the others. As they were making it through the abandoned mine shafts, the man filming can capture something without even noticing it at the time. There's a large shadow standing in the distance. The men were sure that it couldn't have been caused by any of the two, and there was nobody else in there. After a quick pan, this shadow has just vanished. The shadow itself also is looking quite a bit odd in terms of proportion. The head looks quite big, but it also could be that whoever is reflected on the rocks here is wearing a jacket with a large collar. They had no idea what we were seeing here. It was an inexplicable event for the two men, up until this day. Following recordings stem from May 2020 and they were captured by a young man was out on the streets with his friends. The quarantine was just loosened a bit and they were happy to spend some time together. However, something terrifying was about to unfold. One of the guys sees an eerie figure in the distance and he swears that it was talking to them. And it's especially weird because it was already pretty late and they did not notice anybody else around at the time. Let's take a look. No, that's, that's like a... Young person. I mean, after all, it is quarantine. Like, <gasps> we're getting the f out of here right now. I'm dead. Serious? This is freaking me the f out. That lens right in front of my dude. dude. I'm actually freaking out, dude. F I'm gonna. Dude, it, get, it gets more. Dude, that thing looks like it's looking right at us like this. That's what's meant to die. Look at it. What the? Every time I move closer, it looks more and more like a figurine. I did not see that when we passed. Dude, okay. You know, yeah. And then, according to the guys, this figure just vanished into thin air. Ah. Uh... It reappeared again moments after, but this was where the recording ended. 
So let's think about this for a second. This apparition looks like a little boy, but what would a boy do there alone at night? If this isn't just a fun skit played out by the man, what did they come across here? It certainly mimics the voice of a child. Listen closely. Young person. I mean, after all, it is quarantine. Like, Terrifying, isn't it? The following is a recording, which was uploaded by Equitum Duerto Paranoma, and it was a live stream recording that was shared by a young man. He woke up to really unsettling noises in the middle of the night that were stemming from the lower floors of his house. At least this is what he believed at the time. He states that nobody else was in the residence besides his partner and their two cats, and the four of them were all situated on the upper floor. Let's see what was going on that night. The young man makes it downstairs and he expected to see several items lying around on the floor. They give it a very thorough search, but can't find any misplaced items on the floor or anything else that appeared off, which was strange. After all these noises, you would think to find something, right? Confused and very tired, they decide to make it up to the bedroom again. After all, there wasn't much they could do at this point. The young man even states that this place had been blessed by a priest before. So all of this was really strange to them. Of course they had trouble falling asleep that night. And it was shortly after that the activity continued. So they blessed the whole house by themselves to hopefully find peace that night. But no such luck. Now look at what happened next. Something appeared to be standing outside the window here. Something that shouldn't be there. And it was not possible, since the second floor window had no balcony attached. Some believe this to be an evil spirit that was causing all of this mischief that night. Could that be so? What would you do in this situation? How terrifying. The worst part is that the activity kept continuing all night long. I'll keep an eye open for possible updates on that case.